Hi, cutie pies. I am Lanikia, and you are watching what happened on the soaps. This is Days of Our Lives edition. Today is Tuesday, September, September, December the 26th, 2023. On a scale of 1 to 10, um, I'm going to give it a solid 7. It was a 7. Um, it set up storylines for the rest of the week, so yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So we see everyone is over at the Kiriakis household to celebrate break Christmas. So um, Justin's there. Um, Xander comes over with the baby. Um, so he's there with Sarah. Maggie, of course, is there. Um, and Alex Teresa in, ends up coming over. And so they're excited to see them. They didn't think Alex was going to come. But he says, yeah, he wanted to spend Christmas with them in, in order to honor his father. Is anyone else besides me finding it weird that Alex is kind of just distancing himself from Justin? It almost doesn't seem natural. Like, we not understand Victor is his father. But at this point, it almost seems, I, I don't know how to explain it. It almost feels like he's like justin stay stay away not in a rude manner or anything of that nature but his relationship with him doesn't make sense when that is the man who raised you this whole time i would have thought that alex would have been more like you know victor might be my biological father but you're my dad but he he doesn't even call justin dad anymore he calls him justin and i'm i don't know y'all tell me what you think in the comments let's keep going so then we see um, they come over and, and they're talking and everything. And then Brady comes by. And um, because Teresa had asked um, Sarah, D you know, does she need her to hold the baby or anything? Because Teresa's feeling a little guilty about what she's done. And Sarah's and Xander just say, no, because the baby was a little fussy. And they say no after everything happened with the kidnapping. They really just want to keep it um, with just them as, you know, holding the baby and everything. They're just um, overly cautious at this point. And she understands that. So when Brady comes, she's like, oh, Brady's here. And they have really nice words to say about each other um, as far as Tate. And he, she said, it sounds like he enjoyed his time with you and y'all got you guys had a great time. And then he tells her he wished he could have been with Rachel. And I said, now, Kristen, now, you know, you are my girl, but you didn't let this man see um, Rachel on Christmas. Baby, when Kristen said, I'm done with Brady, she meant that. <laughs> so Teresa said, I can't believe that. Um, she said, no matter, I'm glad that no matter what happens between us, we never got to that point. But anyways, that's it, y'all. Let's move on. So they're all enjoying Christmas together. And then here comes Constantine. Hello, Maggie, I brought you a gift. And this time he did get her a lace tablecloth that <clears throat> actually came from Greece. Excuse me. Um, so, you know, of course, she's happy about that. Everybody's kind of, they're looking at Constantine like, mm, something ain't right. I don't know what it is, but I can't put my finger on it. But oh no something's not right anyways Constantine goes off and Teresa follows him and she's like because he tells everyone that he's leaving town and she's like oh I'm glad you're leaving town he said I'm not leaving town actually I plan on staying here tonight and she said what why this man sprang his ankle on purpose I said baby you are a con artist through and through okay Okay, Sheila Carter, this man sprang his ankle on purpose. And Teresa is looking at him like, oh, and can I just say, for some reason, Teresa looked really pretty today. I don't know if they've done something with the wig. It's like they made the root roots darker on her wig. But anyway, she looked gorgeous today to me. So um, he did that or whatever. Now, in the other room, Alex is just talking. He's talking about, oh, I got to write all these thank you notes. Sir, you are the CEO. You need to thank these people. And so Xander said he would help him. It was a mess. It's it, it, like, let Alex run this the way he wants to. And then Xander, you can come in whenever you find out that Victor was actually your father. It, it's a whole mess. Anyways, um, Constantine comes hobbling in. Oh, oh, oh oh and they're like Maggie's like oh my gosh what happened and he says I sprained my ankle 
uh, no, he said, I, I hurt my uh, foot. And so Sarah, of course, is a doctor. So she looks at it and she said, oh, it's a severe sprain. It's not broken, but you know, you can't go anywhere tonight. He said, no, I have to catch my flight. And Maggie said, nonsense, you'll stay here. And um, Al um, Justin and Alex are like, do you believe this? And Justin said, no, I'm having a hard time believing this. And then Brady and Xander are like, it's always something around here. So anyways, everybody starts leaving. And of course, now Constantine has to stay with Maggie until he gets well and everything. So he go he's back in the house where he wants to be. And that's it, y'all. That's pretty much it with them. Oh, and um, Maggie gave Alex Victor's watch because, you know, he got it from his dad. So she's giving it to Alex. So that was a nice little gesture. But let's move on. So then we go over here with uh, Harris and Chad. Harris comes in. And he's like, Chad, I didn't expect to see you. And Chad tells him about his breakup with Stephanie. And then Harris tells him about his breakup with Ava, that he kissed a good woman, but they were drunk and it was an accident. I said, oh, so you're not going to tell him it was Stephanie? <laughs> uh, don't be childish, girl. Okay, sorry. So then um, he tells him, you know, he kissed a good woman, but it was nothing that came from it. I said, if I was uh, Chad, when I find out you kissed Stephanie and was talking to me about it, I'd be upset with you, Harris. But anyways, so they're just having a drink together. And then Everett comes in and... um he greets Chad and they all sit, they tell Everett to sit down because he's a lonely heart too. And um, because at first Everett just wanted to say he and Stephanie worked together because you know he was talking to Harris and Chad said, Y'all had a more than just a working relationship. So we that's why they tell Harris about you know the whole thing with Stephanie and Everett having a past um intimate relationship. Um and, and Chad was being weird about it. Like, yeah, why we both like Stephanie. I said, well all y'all done kissed her at this point. <laughs> oh, but y'all just don't know Harris has. So anyways, Harris was asking um Everett about him. And y'all saw how Everett dodged that question and started turn it around on Harris like, oh, I'm just a reporter or whatever. I said, why you don't want to answer the question? So they start talking about the Nate Harris background. And he says, it's not really helping right now because he's trying to crack down on the drugs in the town because um, ODs have been going up. Is it ODs? I, I guess, child, I don't know. Um, but they've been going up. <clears throat> and so they're trying to figure out who's pumping the drugs into Salem. And Harris said, but he's going to figure it out. And then he gets a phone call that says, hey, there's a shipment going down. And he said, can this source be trusted? And they say, yeah. And so he's like, I got to go. Everett wants to go with him. He said, no, you need to get clearance and all that so you can tag along. So then Harris up, Harris leaves and Everett and Chad talk, right? And as they're talking, Harris says, I'm, Harris, um, Everett says he really wants to get involved in this case, like doing some investigative reporting. I said, uh oh, Ava. Uh oh. And so they were like, yeah, maybe Chad was like, yeah, make make your money, earn your keep. And so, mm -hmm, child, we'll see what happens there. Every got a lot of secrets going on in his own. Anyway, so then we go to um, Ava and Stefan and they're in the back of the bistro trying to get this drug run that um, Clyde has set up. So they're trying to get everything together, right? So while they're doing this, um, Stephanie is still talking about Gabby. And he, he so he lets us know by telling Ava that, yes, Gabby now knows about everything. And she's going to be watching. She's scared, but she's going to be watching her back more in prison. He said, and the, nur the nurse at the infirmary is just heartless. She was just telling them to suck it up. And Ava said, well, I guess nobody really wants to work on Christmas. And after you've been in there for so long, maybe you've become you become that way and he was like yeah that's true and he said but we got to get rid of Clyde like we got to figure out a way to do this so anyway they're going back and forth or whatever and then the drug shipment comes and it looks like flour right like lots of flour but in um reality you open it up Stefan opened it up and it's drugs it's like pills and Ava said that's a lot of pills and then at that point um Harris comes up and he says Ava, Stefan, what are y'all doing? And I said, oh, Lord, why don't y'all tell somebody? Now, he did tell, um, Stefan did tell Ava that he told EJ. And he said, but EJ not going to help us. And she said, he's the DA and he's your brother. Now he's going to be coming for us. He was like, not unless like 
something comes up like we actually get caught he's not but he was like i had to tell him because he's a demira but of course he didn't help and she was like of course he wasn't going to but anyways again harris came up on stephan and ava so we're gonna see how that all turns out tomorrow and that was days of our lives you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel i hope you all had a merry christmas and enjoy these last few days until the new year thank you for watching i'll see you tomorrow goodbye